Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft series. This is going to be another tournament replay, uh, potentially another full series from the uh, somewhat recent Smile Cup. Uh, this tournament uh, apparently was anonymously sponsored by um, a fan. Uh, yeah, pretty generous fan. The prize pool is quite massive for. Um, for, you know, your typical Warcraft tournament these days. Um, so yeah, uh, I might, I might watch more replays, uh, from this particular tournament. Anywho, we're gonna go straight into the playoff quarterfinals here, uh, between Sock and Fly. Um, we do have servers, so we can switch over to that. Sock's putting in as the blue human player on the top right. Facing off against Fly, the red orc player on the bottom left. Uh, on the map, Northern Isles. I uh, haven't seen this map in quite some time. Uh, usually, uh, gets chosen, or gets, uh, what was it, passed by, honestly, uh, in the picks. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what entails here in the, I guess, current uh, metagame. I say current metagame. Not like Warcraft's changed all too much fundamentally um, for a decade now I guess uh, yeah um, it's just in this tournament uh, it is a one-off thing uh, since it was uh, sponsored by I'm assuming an individual and uh, I doubt <clears throat> doubt the person has that much money constantly to sponsor these uh, yeah, either way, uh, we have an Archmage coming out here for Sock. Meanwhile, Fly, I believe he's going for a Farseer, which he usually does recently. Uh, so, yeah, Battle of Spellcasters here. Um, curious to see how Fly will play this. Uh, he could go fast farming, or he might just go for some harassment. It is a bit risky versus an Archmage since. The Archmage has his own elementals to uh, defend pretty well with. If it was against something like uh, a Night Elf or uh, an Undead, maybe. Might have a higher chance of those harassments, but <clears throat> uh, we'll see. We are going to have Archmage popping right over here. Where is she going? She's going to go to the... Uh, gold mine camp, it seems. I thought she was gonna go down here to the green one. Uh, but she's gonna hopefully look for a fast expand. Farseer is gonna go for the early harassment, it seems. Uh, as the elemental just pops down as he, I believe, was tanking all of it. Which is honestly perfect for the Farseer. Is able to get that Magi kill as well. Uh, unable to get that Tuscar, but. Uh, yeah, this kind of screws with the uh, sock a little bit. Is gonna lose a peasant, bit probably a little too preoccupied controlling his archmage to micro away his uh, peasants there. As yet another uh, troll is gonna get taken down by the farseer, even the uh, the high priest, I believe, this high priest uh, gets stolen by the farseer. So disaster strikes for sock as fly is able to take advantage of this. this is a very nice. Uh, decision to go for some harassment here. It was looking a little... Uh, I was a little worried since uh, obviously the crackback is quite a bit. Um, but yeah, the Farseer was able to actually profit a lot off of this. He even actually kills the, um, the last peasant, preventing the tower from being completed. Uh, is going to force some more militia to move over and Job well done, I think. Uh, the Farseer hitting level 2 solely off of uh, creep steals here. I mean, he did pick up a couple of uh, peasant kills as well, but ultimately, um, stealing the majority of that camp uh, are under attack. really set him up for uh, a lot of momentum here. Archmate's still stuck at level 1. Half HP, no mana. Um, could struggle here on this. Uh, Repeated attack as we do have a town hall being put down. Chain lightning is going to deal some damage to those peasants, but uh, the footmen and the militia are going to try and chase the farseer here. Uh, single grunt, 
probably not going to be enough to force the cancel All on this. Are under uh, as, uh, yeah, Archmage is going to go straight after the Grunt instead. Farseer, probably a little too slippery. Uh, he does not have a TP scroll, however, so... Um, Flying needs to be super careful about that. Is going to salve up uh, as, uh, yeah, basically the only way to heal up as an orc player. Uh, we do have double beast here, here so Fly is going super aggressive, hoping to try and finish this. Uh, might rush it with more uh, mass raiders, uh, but I could definitely see double wind riders as well since Sock. As a human player, since he's going fa uh, expansion first, his anti air is not going to be that great. As the Nagasi was coming out as the second hero, again, just emphasizing the uh, early aggression, trying to chase down those low hit point units. As another chain lightning coming through here, first here down to 40 HP. Nagasi which um, also pretty low herself, 130. As the first here is going to salve up once again, probably going to toss a salve on the Nagasi which as well, and I believe. Uh, Sock is able to uh, push his opponent away for uh, now. Archmage going to uh, pick up a boot to speed here to hopefully try and chase those heroes as the grunt is probably going to go down to that fireball. Oh, lightning ball not fast enough and Sock is pushing his opponent away, is going to take up, uh, lose a uh, foeman in the process as we do have the first raider popping out here, but this is not really where the raider wants to fight. He wants to fight at the enemy base where his siege damage could be utilized a lot more. Um, uh, we do have the wind riders actually being queued up now, I believe. <coughs> uh, Fly actually realized uh, the fragility of Sock's uh, anti air capabilities as we have the Farseer, not the Farseer, um, the Archmage. Attempt to, attempting to interrupt some healing salves once again. Farseer super close to level 3. Die Wolves would be very, very helpful here as the Arcane Tower is done. We do have a, a Guard Tower on the way. Um, a player's forces are under attack. Maybe the Wind Riders aren't going to see much use after all. If that Guard Tower does finish, I really doubt a single Wind Rider will be able to change things. Perhaps the Raider would be able to as the guard tower is going to get focused down very very quickly wind rider is going to get focused by the archmage and probably the elemental but an ensnare comes down on the archmage possible tp scroll is going to be forced as uh yeah look at those women trying to run away while the archmage is too busy chanting her uh recall there as a couple of militia are gonna kind of just suicide into the orc army here Level 3 should be super close for the first here, as another peasant is going to go down now. Like, see which hitting level 2, so she does have access to her fort lightning, I believe. Uh, oh, chain lightning is going to come down and finish the job with an ice arrow. Uh, this is... Like, man, this this game turned so badly for a sock. Um, not being able to secure those creeps uh, really costed him quite a bit. It gave the Farseer so much early power. Um, having access to that chain lane super early. Yeah, it's it's a struggle. But I guess uh, this is kind of where Orc shines at, to be honest, with the early aggression. Um, Raider is going to probably chase down this footman, yep, he will be able to, as the Archmage is going to get revived. Uh, not many peasants in the main base, to be honest, so I don't know how well this uh, militia defense is going to be. Plus, we have three wind riders in the air. Uh, yeah, I guess that uh, tower doesn't really matter too much if they are not in range of those wind riders. As more peasants are going to die, number four wind rider is going to join the fray. Uh, Archmage is gonna finish, but uh, yeah, he spawns. Uh, she spawns not in an ideal location. Slow poison's not actually a thing by the Wind Rider. Never mind. Uh, they have the <coughs> they have the extra poison, but that is a tier three upgrade, I believe. Uh, second guard tower is gonna get cancelled there, so the Altar of Kings is gonna go down. Uh, yeah. Um. 
Not much you can do here if you are the human player. Single guard tower, honestly, not really going to do too much. It is actually going to go down as well because Wind Riders, full Wind Riders are just way too powerful to do. Uh, to live against that, you can see the footman just dropping like flies. Militia should also uh, be dropping as quickly. Uh, elemental gonna pop down, but uh, level one elemental is not gonna do too much either. And steer onto the archmage, and this could possibly be uh, death number two for the archmage as the GG is gonna come down by Sark. Yikes! Score difference there. It's that was brutal. That was super brutal uh, for a Sark. But Fly playing it super super well. I didn't expect um, that Farsi harassment to be that effective, but. Um, being able to steal those creep camps were very juicy. Um, so that's gonna be game one, I will hop on over to game two, so see you there.